This is back and it is so much better. Everybody, Josh RV Nerd with Bishop's RV here, taking a look at the uh, updated, improved, revised 240 RBS. When this one first came out, it felt really small and boxy, and cramped inside because they had built this like big, giant walk-in pantry right behind the entertainment center. The problem is, in a small space, it stuck in so far that it, like it just really never even felt like you had a slide. It never felt big in there. Well, what they did is they they extended the kitchen countertop, which previously this had almost no kitchen prep space. They extended that out all the way to the door raised the entertainment center a little bit, added some campsite window coverage, and still included awesome storage below the countertop. Overall, I think it's exactly what this floor plan needed, and I really like what they did here. They kind of squared the countertop off pretty nicely as you approach the entry door, too, so you really maintain some good prep space, uh, not like some weird triangular-shaped kind of thing, you know? Being a J-Flight, it's six foot nine tall inside, and new for the 24 season, they are now uh, a heated enclosed underbelly instead of enclosed only. They, uh, for the 23 season, lost the belly heating. It's back, baby. They also now have 200 watts of solar standard. So what was the optional Overlander 1 package is now standard on these, which is very, very cool. Still using the Goodyear Endurance radials. Um, it is a Camp Queen bed, although it is a private bedroom. You could uh, stuff a True Queen bed in there, but you're going to be doing the butt scoop boogie to get around that thing. And that's not everybody's jam. I do really respect how they're still including a ladder versus most manufacturers to say, yeah, you spent all this money on the RV. By the way, you also have to spend a couple hundred extra dollars on your uh, ladder now if you want to get up there and maintain it which we require you do to maintain your warranty Jayco doesn't do that now this is a J flight it's not like the full-on like glitzy package thing that they have so there's some things it doesn't do but there's some things it does well and by the way it is available in a fiberglass skin package which is cool all your full J flight non SLX things are all available with an optional fiberglass skin and I think it looks pretty sharp and you know it's it's funny um, Doing the job that I do, seeing all the RVs I see, I get to see certain things kind of play out in what I feel are kind of humorous ways. And this floor plan right here, you can just, if, you, if you're familiar with the industry, you can really just tell. This is Jayco and Grand Design in a shooting match right here. This is their answer to a really similar Transcend floor plan, and frankly, I am mad at it because they are both executed very well. That means that you as a consumer have more choice, more options, more opportunity, and maybe you like the taste of one better than the other. Like, there's a reason there's like a bajillion types of vanilla ice cream. Um, you know, I, I like having multiple different opportunities. Now, this one used to have this giant, bulky, boxy, uh, I call it pantry tainment center right here. They opened all that up. They were able to redistribute a lot of the kitchen as a result. And this thing went from having jack and squat for prep space to suddenly having really good prep space. But still, you've got that upper uh, storage right there. You've got all the drawer storage down below. Um, you know, as long as we're talking about it, I'm standing right here. We might as well crack it open, take a look at it. full storage down there below that countertop line. There's six kitchen drawers in this little thing. Perfect place for a wastebasket. New for 24, they they started including sink covers for the J flights again. I was really happy to see that. And then it's not like you lost good pantry space. Over by the refrigerator, you have a gigantic gigantic pantry built right into the slide out right there i i like what they're doing there's even that little bonus drawer below it you know they're really nailing some big hitter features but one of the really cool things that they're doing here is a six foot nine ceiling so it's a little bit taller all the way through and their lighting package is pretty solid now my camera is not really friendly to things in the brown color family, but it's very good at trying to make dark spaces look lighter. So I don't know how dramatic that actually was on camera, but I'm telling you, it's pretty darn nice in here. Nice wide open side stands. Um, one of the potential catch 22s for some people who are a little bit taller, who don't want their feet to be hanging off the end of the bed to get nibbled on by the bed goblin union that lives under the bed that will shear your toes off if they sneak out from under the covers. Well, this is a camp queen bed. Now they left room at the foot of the bed if you want to go with a longer one, but by default, it is a short queen. But with those wide open side stands, it also allows for the opportunity of potentially going with a wider bed. Although keep in mind, if the mattress and that shelf or that corner wardrobe cabinet overlap, you are going to have a sharp point jabbing you in the arm over there. 
Uh, that's the solar controller over on the left side. Solar now standard on the J flights for 24. And opening this up, they have a, the left side is a hanging wardrobe tower. Down below is the big, you know, foot locker uh, storage situation with easy lift gas struts. And then the right hand uh, upper hanging tower is actually not even a hanging tower. It is a uh, additional dresser space. So it's kind of interesting the way they do the storage there. Now it is an open shelf above the bed. So you're gonna wanna get some kind of little like basket organizers or something like that. The TV, I wish it, like I don't care that the TV doesn't pivot. I don't need the TV to pivot. I wish it was tilted. I wish it was angled down a little bit. They do that in a lot of their big fifth wheels. I can't imagine there's really an extreme cost for that. And it would really soften uh, the, the strain on the neck, I think you would feel uh, over here. Now, uh, you know, theater seat, You since it's a theater seat, you could do a high to bed. Either way, it'll include those handy little swivel stands. Um, so, you know, you've got a couple different options right there. But uh, if you go with the theater seat, one of the cool things, it is a little bit of like a, a wall hugger system with a little remote control storage in the middle, helping control the population by keeping you separated. Uh, or if you go with the hide bed you can have a little bit better kind of cuddle compliance. I sort of wish there was a window on that shiplap accented slide wall, but it doesn't have an opposing window for breeze, so I don't know. What's the what's the right way to go there? I'm I'm never quite sure. Uh, back here in the bathroom, this is freaking fluffy friendly, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of space around that toilet. Very handy if you are a little bit of either a big booty Rudy or a big booty Judy, it don't really matter. Now you do have a full medicine cabinet. That's one of those things I was constantly griping about it last year. My number one thing I wished I could have fixed on the 2023 J flights was instead of just a mirror glued against the wall, give me an actual medicine cabinet. Well, bam, they did, they delivered. And of course, you, you not only have headroom in the shower, this thing is huge. It's nearly square. It's almost, I, I don't know the actual measurement. It's, it's like, what, almost three foot by three foot or something. It's large and in charge right there. And you know what, at this price point, I don't love it, but had they left that uh, the storage over here wide open, I probably wouldn't have bought too hard at it. Ooh, wow, nice latch work, wow. Um, but they didn't. And notice how it's not so deep that you, you look like you reach in all the way up to your armpit like you're giving an elephant an enema. There's a visual you can take with you. You're welcome. Holy crap. Holy crap. I almost broke the crap out of this trailer. I was closing the slide to show you stuff in road mode. I had the bathroom door left open. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. The, uh, the door cannot stay open all the way and allow the slide to come in. Basically, just I won't get into the details. Don't do that. You're going to break stuff. Now here's the good news. You don't have to leave the bathroom door open with the slide closed, you can still get in there. However, the bedroom's another story. Because when the slide closes over here, unless you're Mr. Fantastic or Stretch Armstrong, you ain't gonna be able to squeeze through there. But we can get to the refrigerator, we can get to the bathroom, there's the countertop space, the sink, the, a lot of the cabinetry available. So it's good for travel stops, but not travel stayovers, unless you're really planning ahead. So just a little bit of handy info there for you. And they really got this one kind of wedged over to the side and that giant support beam that's keeping the roof from falling on us is in the way. So I don't have a great opportunity to give you a look at the off door side. And as I back up here, giving you a look at the weights and measures, I'm tripping over a table that was there. Moonwalking backwards blind uh, is a contact sport. You should see my arms and legs. I am scratched and gouged up like, where is the propane tank cover? That is, okay, well, uh, unless I miss something, I'm 99% sure there's supposed to be a propane tank cover on there. Evidently, it's gone. I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you have a key-like system where one key can open your baggage doors, your deadbolt, your pass-through, all that kind of stuff. Magnet holdbacks uh, on the right-hand side of the screen in that upper right corner. You see it's prepped and ready for uh, a side observation camera system, and you'll find rear ob or you know rear camera prep uh, available in the back as well. Down below, we do have uh, the quick drop stabilizers. There are some manufacturers, some other manufacturers are using that. That's not like exclusive to Jayco. I am happy with anyone that uses them though, because they do a fantastic job of keeping the RV stable. Where it's really nice is if one of you is a light sleeper and like the other one gets up to use the bathroom at night, they don't shake, rattle, and roll the whole RV around. And again, you don't see any specific big giant windows overlooking the door side of the RV here under that awning. But when you sit down in that seat, 
you've got the kitchen, well, two kitchen windows and the window in the entry door that you do have the ability to see out of. And it works pretty darn nicely. Uh, tankless on demand water heater in case a couple of you want to take a couple long hot showers and we do have ourselves the outside TV key block mount right here but there's actually a whole world of accessories for those key block mounts um, that's I believe that's spelled K-E-Y-B-L-O-C in case you're kind of curious um, I'm sure the auto captions that YouTube provides not treating me very well I always laugh by the way when it says uh, the, the captions read hi I'm Josh the RV nerd from vicious RV that frankly I love it so much I don't even bother changing it because I think it's just hilarious and this industry and it's frickin frackin fascination with Labatt blue lights oh my lord good gosh they just keep cranking them out I don't mind that there's a light in there I just feel like there's maybe maybe we could try something a little bit different sometime not a full-on necessarily camp kitchen but a little convenience station. And I'm tripping over a chair behind me. Oh my God. Sorry. You know what? Now the camera's going all over the place. Obviously, I don't edit my videos very much. I'm doing, doing it live and you're here with me. It's pre recorded live anyway. 250 pound ladder to get you up to that fully walkable roof, which is plywood decked, by the way, not OSB. And as uh, I, I think I got up there in my floor plan in a flash to showcase the 200 watt solar package that is standard on these. J Smart lighting is not uh, found across the J Flight line any longer. However, you do still have backup lighting. Um, I kind of asked about that, and uh, th there were a couple factors. Cost was one of them, certainly. The other thing was a lot of your J Flights, your most popular J Flights, tend to be a little bit smaller. And, um, you know, needing turn signals amidships, as it were, was not as critical of a deal. I'm, I, I kind of, I like safety features. I like safety features a lot, especially considering a lot of the people that buy J flights are folks that are not necessarily very experienced at towing, but it doesn't matter what I like. The fact is, she gone. Well, I think that wraps up my giant record-a-thon here. I've in two days, I think I got like 40 videos out of this location here. So you're going to see this backdrop quite often. But thank you folks for tuning in. Continue to please leave me that feedback. What do you like and dislike? How can we improve the, the shopping experience for you even further? And what could they do in this RV to make it a little bit better? Leave me some notes and let me know. And I'll leave you a link in the video description to check for pricing and availability when you're ready. And until then, thanks for tuning in. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone. Appreciate you.